read the question first. That's going to be right over here. How much will the buyer pay? So everyone, quick question, no context yet, but does it sound like someone's buying something and we're just finding that cost? Cool. Keep it simple, guys. Keep it simple. You know, don't complicate it. Let the problem complicate it, but don't overcomplicate it yourself. Don't overthink. Next up, we're looking for how much we're supposed to be paying. Let's read through the information and figure out what are we buying and how much does it cost? You know, what are the details? So right here, a basket of bananas is being sold at a farmer's market. The basket weighs two pounds, four ounces. The buyer is charged $1.40 per ounce of bananas. How much will the buyer pay? Okay, everybody, context here. What are we buying? What are we buying? Thank you, Evelyn. We are buying bananas. Bananas. We are buying bananas. So what do we know about the bananas that we're buying, everybody? What do we know about those bananas? Hit me. Again, we want to know how much we're paying for what we're buying. We're buying bananas. What's the, what are the details about the bananas? What do we know? A dollar and 40 cents per ounce. Absolutely. Let's write that down. And that's going to be very important here. A dollar and 40 cents per ounce. And then we have exactly, thank you, Evelyn, two pounds and four ounces of bananas. Okay, so here is where we're going to start getting technical. When we zoom on in over here and we take a look at the $1.40 per ounce, what operation are we going to be doing with the $1.40? What are we going to do with that? Oh, guess what? If you wanted to join all of our classes for a full week for free, then I highly recommend you join our full program trial, no credit card required, and it's easy to join. All you have to do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or check the link in the description of this video to get started. Super easy, and I'll help you raise your score and show you the right way. Let's go. What operation do we do? And to give you some more examples, yeah, you're correct, Jonathan, Let's to give some examples here for everybody out there. You know, if we say that, hey, at my job, I make, you know, I make $12 an hour. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you make a lot more than that. I hope everybody makes a lot more than that. But let's say we make $12 an hour at a job. Okay. If I worked five hours, what am I doing with that $12 per hour and those five hours? What am I doing with those two numbers? What will I do with those two numbers to find out how much I made in total? Exactly. Exactly. We will multiply. If we worked five hours and we make $12 per hour, that $12 per hour, we multiply the $12 per the hours, for the hours. So 12 times five gives you 60. So here in this case, and I'm just making a very valid point here, we have a dollar and 40 cents per ounce. So we need to multiply that $1.40 times what again, everybody? What do we need to multiply by? Not the number, the word right after it. Just remind me, remind me, remind me, remind me. We can only multiply the $1.40 by the number of what? Exactly, by the number of ounces. We have got to play a very careful game about how we respect units. This does not say per pound. This does not say per whatever you want it to be. It says per ounce. Now that's a problem because everybody, are we given the weight of the bananas in just ounces? Are we given the weight of the bananas in just ounces? Absolutely not. So the step we need to take is to take this weight, the two pounds and four ounces, and we need to turn that into just ounces. And so what's the fact that we know? Everyone, one pound is equivalent to how many ounces? Thank you, my party people. Absolutely. One pound is equivalent to 16 ounces. So one pound equals 16 ounces. And so you don't need to get too complicated here. 
you know, you have two pounds. So I'll just go ahead and say we got, boom, two sets of 16 ounces. My party people was 16 plus 16. Thirty-two. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. That's thirty-two ounces. Perfect. Excuse me there. Thirty-two. Come on. Obviously, still have some lingering effects from my sickness. Hopefully, by all this caffeine I drink um, is good enough. But as you can tell, my voice is almost giving out. So thank you guys for being patient. Um, so with that, are we only multiplying by thirty-two? Everybody, don't get tricked. Don't get ahead of yourself. Is thirty-two what we are multiplying by? Don't forget what is it that we need to include here. Exactly. Don't forget the four ounces that was there. And notice how I'm teaching you, everybody. What I do is I will always try to basically emphasize a point where a common mistake might be made. A lot of the times people will forget that extra four ounces and just think to multiply this. No, we still have the extra four ounces there. So we should be multiplying by 36 total ounces. Now we're ready to multiply. Everybody, do we understand that that's what we needed to do? And now we're ready to multiply $1.40 times 36. Hey, Stomy, congratulations on that. What is that? 50, 66. Congratulations. Thanks for coming in to tell me. Thanks for coming in to tell me. That's awesome. If you want to include some more details about the job that you enlisted with and stuff like that, I would totally love to shout you out to the rest of the class. Thank you for letting me know. Congratulations on that. Let's go, Ace the Azabeth. Let me not get too lost, but let me finish this and we'll continue congratulations, uh, congratulating Stomy. But here we are. So here we'll finish the multiplication. We have zero multiplied by six, four multiplied by six, 24. One multiplied by six, carry the two. Then we bring in that zero for the next digit. Zero multiplied by three, four multiplied by three, one multiplied by three, carry that one. We add all this back and now we'll have zero, four, 10, and then five. And so everyone, how many decimal places are we bringing back? Yep, we're bringing two decimal places back. So we'll have one, two, and that'll be one, two, booyah. So that'll end up being $50.40. That's how much we would pay for the bananas. And before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for the next free class. If you haven't been to one of my classes already, I'd love to have you in there and helping you raise your score. So all you have to do is text, hey, when's the next free class to our automated line, 833-321-0182, and you'll get a reply very quickly about the information for the next class, including the link. So my party people, I'll see you in the next free class. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.